Welcome to a 360 degree passenger drive video in the new Seat Ateca. This one's got the keyless go. I hate keyless go. I keep on forgetting to turn off the car. So, wouldn't bother paying extra for that. Now, this particular model is a 1.4 TSI turbo petrol, 150 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 8.5 seconds, and a claim 53 miles per gallon. And I actually averaged 45 miles per gallon. So, it's really economical if you drive it steadily. And if you don't want to drive it steadily, it's actually good fun. And that brings us on to the way this car's been set up. So, it's based on the Volkswagen Tiguan, but Seat is supposed to be more sporty, so they give it firmer suspension. And as a result, this car just feels a little bit more lively and agile through the corners. And for a tour vehicle, as I'll demonstrate now, as I go into a set of curves a lot faster than anyone in their right mind would, in an SUV, because you end up getting told off by your wife or your children will be sick all over your shoulder or something like that. It handles really well. The trade-off is that on a bumpy road, it can feel a little bit too firm, this suspension. Fine if you're driving in Spain, where the roads are nice and smooth, but not so fine when you're driving in the UK, especially in town and over speed ups. Oh, God, <laughs> that's a bit of a bump there. So you, that is something to be wary of when you test drive this car, it's not quite as comfy as the Volkswagen Tiguan. Also, it has quite, well, crude rear suspension and so on, and even services, it does hop about a bit. So yeah, not quite as refined, but it's not too much of a problem. I'm willing to forgive this car because it's usefully cheaper than the Tiguan. It's about two and a half grand cheaper, like for like, because various materials, for instance, those there, that, that's harder plastic than you'll get on a Tiguan. It'd be soft, you rest your arm and just like cruise around like that. But on the whole, really, really good car. So this one is £21,000 basic before options, and really there's not much you need to spend extra on. You don't get sat-nav for that money, but you do get this large screen, and it does include, oh my God, the sun's come out, so it's all of a sudden very bright. It does include, let me see if I can get it, it does include things like mirror link and Android Auto. And on the whole, that eight inch screen is really nice, easy to use and the car itself, have a look round it, move the phone around, your mobile device or the cursor on your browser, so look around the cabin and it's okay, it's nice enough, it's not particularly exciting, it's trying to be sporty but it's a bit dark and black and stuff, but on the whole very nicely laid out, simple to use, visibility is pretty good and yeah, this is a really really good car, I actually think this is Seat's eureka moment, it's, it's the moment, it's like it's a bit like the cash guy for them. It's going to change the way people see Seat and it's going to give them a hell of a lot more sales. Now, if you want a full in-depth video review of this car and practicality reviews and reviews of the infotainment system, click up there on the pop-out banner now and you can watch extra content on this Seat Ateca.